Lena has a square theme to her face, so we're going to keep that in mind as we draw her face mask area. Drawing the hair and the bangs right now. Doing the side of her hair, indicating her neck, eye line. Doing the nose, placing the mouth. She has an open mouth. Got her eyes and her eyebrows. So we take the design marker, go straight for the nose. It's a tiny bump on the nose, very angular for the tip of the nose. We use a thicker line for the top of the lip, indicator teeth and her bottom lip, keeping the strokes elegant and simple. Her smile line adds to her character. And we're going to draw her eyes nice and big. We're going to draw some attention to it. The other side. Again, she has blue eyes, so we're going to leave white for the blue color. She has thinned out eyebrows. We're going to do that with one stroke. Thicken up her eyelashes here. Make sure that she, we have the eyeliner. This is her cheek muscle. Her dimples. Her chin, keep it small, squared off. Now we're doing the whole face mask area here as we draw. Again, it's framed by the hair. Part of her ear showing through. Then I go back at this point and draw in the eyelashes. Adding eyelashes actually add beauty and enhance the glamour of the eyes, so it's a good idea to do that if it's pretty obvious. Now we go into the hair, do the bangs, nice loose curvy strokes, thinner in the middle. Add fullness to the hair and her neck, making sure that the neck connects well to the head. Now I'm going to throw in the body to show you how the hair would fit in the back. This is your basic sitting body that's been covered in the first video, the one minute caricature. She has frickles, which you can't see. Now we're going to add uh, some teeth very lightly with her pen and a gum line. We don't want to uh, make that too heavy or else it's going to draw too much attention to itself. So now at this point we go into the hair with the Prismacolor. Usually like to start off with the hair first. She has blonde hair so we're going to use the, the tones very sparingly just to show the highlights and some shadowed areas. Also, we're going to add some color value to simulate color, like in the shirt and the lips. Also for the eye shadow. Color of her eyes. Bottom plane of the nose, getting form to the cheek, face area. Adding more form to the hair, shadow. Just making the drawing look pretty at this point. And uh, eventually you'll have to put the person's name on there, so we're going to find a space for the name. And I usually like to use large block letters for the first letter and then plain letters for the rest of it. 